Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to do a video talking about Madam Web, but not directly talking about Madam Web. We're going to talk about the uh, the morning after Madam Web, I guess. Apparently... Someone's taking a pill. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, because apparently they're aborting the uh, the version of Silk that they were going to do. I didn't even know they were going to do a, I, I did. a movie of Silk or I a did. show of Silk. Amazon was going to do a movie based on Silk, and they've apparently fired the entire writer's room, and now they're going to make a, a show that they want to be more male-focused and not uh, like a chick flick or a CW show or wherever the hell Ah, oh, they wish they had Madame done this Web for, was. like, She-Ra. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so not necessarily like male-focused, but, like, fire the whole writer's room. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to talk about this because it sounds like, uh, you know, Madam Web is definitely... Uh, having having a ripple effect on other other uh, spider projects. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Yeah. So their spider sense must have been tingling when the movie uh, you know got a what thirteen percent or whatever the hell it yeah. has on Rotten Tomatoes. I think that I think they're going they're knee jerk reaction a little bit too much, but you know. I, nobody wants a silk movie. I don't but. think I don't. I, that's true, and I don't think just you know, male skewing audience. Yes, but I'm just like I hope they don't go like too far the other way either. You know what I mean? They need to find a happy balance where it used to sit. Everything kind of used to be in a place where girls liked it, guys liked it. It was all good, and now they're just trying to pander so hard to women that it's just turning everybody off. Well, some women are turned on by pandering to to women, but uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, you know um, more tits. Bigger tits, and and definitely that. Well, some women like bigger tits. And they tits. do, yeah. So I mean, I'm not gonna you know fault them for that. They other women like that. Yes, it is. <laughs> so uh, I got I got to point this out. I got to point this out. One of the the very few positive reviews from Adam Webb came from the Mary Sue. Oh shock! Oh, and it's Rachel. <laughs> Rachel Leishman, who apparently has me blocked now on Twitter because I I told. Oh, gamer... the Mary Sue does. Is she? I don't know. If she does. I don't know. I think she does too. Because I, I told the gamers group to basically shut down the Mary Sue because it's an embarrassment. It is. I mean, it is. And she's out there. She's the one who was going after nerd Roddick said he didn't know anything about Dr. Who. And uh, he's never watched a damn episode of Dr. Who his whole life as he shows off what? his wall of Blu-rays and action figures. And watch out. She's going to say, you don't know anything about comics or anything. Next. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, she gave it a positive review. So here we are at the, Mar the Mary Sue uh, today. This is uh, one of the other, Writers, I don't know, they all blur together, saying that, um, yeah, they're re retooling uh, Silk Spider Society. That sounds like a porno. Uh, being retooled oh, that's, for... If you're watching a porno called Silk Spider Society, I'm a little concerned what kind of pornos you're watching. That does not sound like a, that to me. That sounds like spiders and things I don't want to see, that they don't go together. Well, Silk sounds like a porn star name. I'm sorry. It, it always Silk, do. yes, but Spider Society doesn't. That sounds like a nightmare. So they want to retool it for a male skewing audience because apparently men don't have enough already. No, I think they, <laughs> yeah. I think they know they know okay. what their audience is predominantly for superhero. But here's the thing, though, there, this, this implies that women don't want to watch superhero movies. Women like superhero movies. They like superhero movies that are good superhero movies that have hot men in them. I'm sorry, they do. Yeah, and they like, and then the other ones that like that you know don't like men like it because they like have hot women in them. Same as the dudes. They are men and women both are checking out. Women are checking out Matt Web too. As why it's not doing well. So this whole idea that it's just because men hate it is a load of shit. Yeah, it's not a good movie. And all the right? ones I've heard reviews about have come from men. Because yeah. women are smart enough not to go. <laughs> no, there were actually there were a lot of women who went to go see it and they said it was terrible. They it's said it was just awful. objectively terrible. And I saw clips from it. Obviously, I'm not gonna pay to go see the piece of shit, but I saw clips from him like, God, this is some of the worst, like, sub CW acting I've ever seen. And this is supposed to be That's some bad. big budget movie. But uh, yeah, so they said that they're hearing, God, look at all these ads. Uh, they said that they're going back to the drawing board with it. Uh, the writer's room has been fired and the showrunner and producer Angela Kang will be reworking the series. Uh, according to an article from The Ankler, it's like The Ankler the ankle biter. Uh, Amazon now wants Kang to develop the series with a male skewing audience in mind. This might prove difficult considering that Silk centers on Cindy Moon, a Korean American woman who was bitten by the same spider that bit Peter Parker, now imbued with powers. She tries to find her missing family. Make her hot. But wait, I was like, why does it, why are they, why isn't it? Why can't it be, 
you know, why can't it appeal to a male audience? You make it a good character who kicks ass. You're going to appeal to just audiences in general. Xena. Guys like Xena. Girls like Xena. Everybody like Xena. You can you can do the it. Actress, Got, not so much, but yeah. The, well, the yeah. I mean, that's a whole nother. That's. But I'm just it's saying, like, it's depressing and all too predictable that Amazon <laughs> would want to gear this women-led series towards a male audience because women are going either. Same yeah. with the Marvels. The, the the audience. I bet it's going to break down the same. Mostly, it was men who went. Yep. And it and women didn't even go. I mean, they do, but not for the same numbers. Not for the most. They're not the like, biggest percentage. I, no one's going to see it. That's why it's failed. What is it doing? Like eight million after a few days? Yeah, it's. I'm expecting it twenty some million. Nobody's going to see this film. I don't care what you have between your legs or what you decide is there. You don't. Nobody's going to see this movie. That's the problem. Look at all. Look at all the ads on the. I can't say too. much though. I'm not going to fault them for that. They really. All the blogs are doing it because I know, they have there's to. nothing so you can. I'm not going to fault them. For no, that. I mean there's nothing you can do about it. I mean they're I probably for a lot of things. That is not one of them. Hey, as as site publishers ourselves, we know the deal right now. Yeah. Like the ad uh, rates are terrible. There's a lot of things to fault the Mary Sue with, but that's uh, not. Oh really. my god, and that's probably part of the deal when they came on with a Gamers Group or whoever owns them now. Wow, you're not joking. They just keep. Popping I mean, on they up. just keep popping up. I can't get rid of them. Oh my god, this is like Ready Player One. Um, good. Maybe they should just let them block you. <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's not like there's a shortage of Spider-Man content. There are 10 standalone Spider-Man films. Uh, and they said, honestly, we blame Madam Web. Would people watch good female-focused Spider films, like the characters that are female versions of Spider characters? Yes, they totally would. There is some the popularity with some of those characters, Spider-Gwen and all that stuff. They would totally watch it. They would watch, okay. But they're not gonna, they're not gonna because no. Disney has a bunch of it for one. But beyond yeah. that, you guys are gonna fuck it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly You're going to spend too much time trying to pander and not enough time trying to actually make it good. One comment. One lone comment. It's baffling that Sony cannot make a good comic book film without relying on Marvel. You should watch Into the Spider-Verse. They're cartoons, but they're awesome. <laughs> they are. But the thing is, I, I think for the live action movies, I think that some of these characters are off the table because Spider-Gwen would be kind of a no-brainer. Right, you'd think they would do a Spider Gwen movie, but they probably, for whatever reason, they can't. They couldn't even name Peter, I guess, in the the movie. Right. So they have to like dance around using Spider Man. And even with Venom, I noticed that uh, they're like, "Oh, it's Ultimate Venom. He doesn't have the the Spider logo." And I'm like, "No, I think he doesn't have the Spider uh, the Spider logo on his his costume, his body, because that's too much like black suit Spider Man. They probably can't use it." So yeah, I, I think that's what's going on here. I think it's a rights issue. And Sony is like so desperate to have more Spider-Man movies that they're just like throwing anything against the wall. But the, the thing is, is, they're actually losing money. You do a Madam Web. You do, you know, some subpar Spider. I guarantee you Craven's going to be another box office disaster. Morbius was a box office disaster. Hey, you know, here's the thing. They're going to they're gonna rework it. They're not just outright canceling it. You know, so there's at least that right now. And Marvel's doing the same thing with like, um, you know, Daredevil. Yeah, so I mean... Look, at least <laughs> I guess that's the upside. I mean, the downside is like, I'm like, does anybody actually like, I forgot Silk existed. There are so many damn spider people. Okay. If you're, oh my God, speaking of damn, there's so many damn ads. So, you know, if it were, if it were me, uh, I would say, and I were in charge of Marvel comics, I'd be like, no, we're going to, we're going to, uh, bring about the, uh, the next secret war. We're going to collapse the multiverse and there's just Peter Parker. That's it. It's just Peter Parker. I, don't want, I mean, I don't think people are going to agree with that. Like, there's a lot of characters people do like that are outside that, though. But they're all spider people. You can't all be spider people. I, I mean, can. how can you be Spider-Man if there's a bunch of Spider-Men? And then you're not special anymore. You don't have great power if everybody's got great power. They can be responsible. <laughs> let them be, uh, let her be responsible. Oh, that'll be the next thing. It'll be like, you know, Peter Parker never existed. But they probably won't be able to mention Peter Parker. Be like, I don't what? know. I just think this sounds like a lot like the Daredevil thing, except Daredevil people want and no one wants this, but is it because of Madam Web? Yes. But they had a whole yeah. bunch of these things lined up. And I'll tell you what, a lot of them, when I heard about them, I was like, no one is going to care about these. No. Craven, Silk, a bunch of them. Nope. Like they, they have like the uh, Black Cat and stuff like that. There's a bunch of these coming up and nobody cares. And it's not just men who, you know, are women that are going to see it and men are trying to take it over. There wasn't enough women or men or other kins to come in there and make the box office worthy enough for them to waste more money on it. Yeah, I, I think they know what the audience is for superhero content. I think because Amazon does the boys, they're like, well, we can pull people over from 
you know, these other shows, we can cross promote. Whereas if we do, you know, a, a shitty CW show, nobody's going to watch it. And they're just not going to watch it. And the writers are probably turning in shit. And it's Clearly, probably, but they actually filmed it and put it on the screen. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. In the case of Adam Webb, yeah. But I'm saying in this case, they're probably like, we're looking at the script. They're like, oh my God, no. Probably the same people on Madam Webb. Probably like, was. Well, That'd be funny. Be a, a, a cinematic universe. And they're like, it's, it's, it's a cinematic universe. But, uh, oh my God. That's it. Sony's uh, Spider Man list shitomatic universe. It's the uh, SCU. The sh sh shitty cinematic universe. The shitty cinematic I mean, universe. It's supposed to be Sony, but it's. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yes. All right, guys. So there we go. I, th I think I'm going to be honest. This is just my take. And I'm, I'm getting all kinds of, I'm getting all kinds of crap on Twitter right now. My Sorry. take, my take is I think the studios are starting to learn. I don't think they want to learn. I don't think they're doing it. Well, willingly. I, I, I think there's people inside the studios that they've let in that don't want them to learn willingly. I think that, People that are on top usually are there because they want to make money, but they're too busy trying not offend people, thinking it was a much bigger group than it actually was. Yes. Then they're realizing that they're not coming to your shitty movies either. Nope. So now it's, maybe it's just better to make money and make a, a, a film that appeals to a larger audience and stick with your target demographic than it is to just try to appeal to a group who's not going to come in the first place. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's it. I think they've listened to the wrong people for too long. They've lost millions, billions of dollars. Some of these studios, you know, having to consolidate, they're shutting down, they're laying off, and it's all because they listen to the wrong people. You listen to your actual customers, your actual audience, and, and you'll be okay. And it was right? always going to go back. I mean, this is gonna, this is a matter of how long it's going to take. Right, right. So we're going to wrap this up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.